I remember thinking, God, this is what it's like with, you know, close families. Yeah. So your buttons are pushed in the same way, but you have changed so much. So your buttons start to be pushed and then you're like, no, I'm not going to react in the same yeah. way. It's going to be different. Diana. Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, wow. Good. Oh, because it came on your I'm Gerald. Oh, that is incredible. <laughs> Don't they look beautiful? <laughs> they, are beautiful. they do. I know. It's like they're sponsoring, like, sponsored by, like, some kind of oil. Look at that skin. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's stunning. Red <laughs> stunning. You are both also beautiful people, however. And well, thank you, you have... so much. So are you. You're gorgeous. Thank yeah. you. Oh, we're all, we're all, we're all gorgeous. We are. Um, also gorgeous is the dynamic between Jaseya and Yennefer, which has yes. many layers, uh, probably oil as well. Um, yes. Can you talk about the state of this, uh, pseudo mother daughter bond in season three and how it evolves i've been saying all day but um basically the relationship very much in season one is like that between a child uh, and a mother in season two like a, a mother and a teenager and now this is a mother and a grown woman um who herself has become a mother of sorts um and it's different and i think it takes them both by surprise and um and they're very sort of touching scenes and i i i love it because there were elements where we started to play scenes where it was almost as if we started to play them like we had before mm. because and and i i remember thinking god this is what it's like with you know close families yeah. so your buttons are pushed in the same way but you have changed so much so your buttons start to be pushed and then you're like no i'm not going to react in the same yeah. way it's going to be different i love that also love uh therica getting to see sabrina again Wonderful. yes welcome back what has she been back up to vengeance. <laughs> how is she feeling about her place in the brotherhood which should change its name oh god i think yes it should right <laughs> so right i know i think she's feeling so confident i think this is this is a Sabrina, like you've probably not seen her before. She's the most confident. She's fiery. She's provocative. She's on fire. She can be very cutting sometimes. You also see the rivalry between her and Yennefer coming to a head. I think, yeah, you see Sabrina like you've never seen her before. And it's so exciting to play. To say that and Villa Forts are looks look so good together. Thinking of people who look good together. I mean, they, they really they do. Just so <laughs> good together. Seriously. Yes. No, but, but boom. <laughs> But the Brotherhood is very divided between what should happen with uh, Ciri, what should happen with Nilfgaard. How does this test their bond this year? Well, enormously. But I, I think I think to say it very much feels that um, supporting Vilgefortz and uh, uh, and the fact that they are working as a team together is going to help them navigate these um, really polarized opinions that are, are threatening to sort of crack the Brotherhood yeah. apart. And it's always been a really tight political uh, tightrope to walk. Um, but I think she feels that they are steps ahead, and therefore they they will they will manage. Um, um, uh, to hand, handle uh, handle the Brotherhood and eventually take more control of the Brotherhood, I think is the ultimate sort of aim. Um, um, yes, um, if it works out or not, that is a different story. But I, th I think that's that's very much that allegiance with Vilgefortz and that connection with Vilgefortz. I think is very important to mm -hmm. her. For both of you, we must say farewell to Henry as uh, the Witcher this season. Sadly, uh, what is your favorite thing about his Geralt? I don't think you can pick one thing. Um, he He's such a fan of the games and of the books. And I think that his his representation of Geralt is faultless. From the I think maybe the voice. The voice mm. is just brilliant, isn't it? I think the best thing is that he has he has been the first Geralt of the Witcher series, mm -hmm. this this new imagining of the Witcher as a TV series. It's been games. It's obviously the source material, the books, um, and he he sort of stamped Geralt out into the world um, in TV series form and has mm -hmm. spread joy and and excited old fans and brought in new fans. And that's that's the the best thing that he's he, he's been able to do. And it's been mm -hmm. wonderful and really celebratory. And I think we're all feeling very celebratory that we've mm -hmm. got to have Henry Cavill mm -hmm. play The Witcher in this series. And, and we are also celebratory about the fact that he's now passing the baton on of this fantastic character to another actor, to um, mm -hmm. to a evolve it into some, into something else which is that's what we do with fantasy characters you know as actors we we pass the baton on and i think it's it's really really exciting fabulous well thank you both you are wonderful i cannot wait for more sorceresses and mages in season 4 
Oh, you're a joy. Thanks so much. Thank you. Have a great day.